Welcome to the 2022 Downtown Christmas Light Parade. Myself, Maddie Jones, joined by Carrie Olson this evening. It's a blustery kind of special out here tonight, Carrie. <laughs> it is. I, I, I was going to say it's really pleasant, but I think because my lips are frozen yes. and I have a hood on over yes. my hat, it gives it away. <laughs> we, we are so layered. If we drop something during this broadcast, it's probably just going to stay on the ground. But uh, we are going to make the best of it and have a great time out here bringing in the holiday season into downtown Baraboo. Absolutely. It's it's going to be a great evening and this event ushers in the Christmas season in our downtown yes. and, and you're so already hard at to work today yes. for the Christmas season. And so that's going to be one of our special guests a little later on the village voices. You guys are back after a hiatus due to COVID. That's right. It had been three years since our caroling group had been downtown uh, caroling in the downtown businesses and we started up today and oh, it was so much fun. It it's was great. Absolutely wonderful and you know we, we have a lot of special guests that we're going to get to this evening a lot of music and some amazing talent and of course we're going to hear from some of the amazing sponsors that help put this event on including our broadcast here on 99.7 max fm tv 43 cable channel 10 you might be watching this on youtube or over on our facebook page and we want to thank our lead broadcast sponsor teal plastics as well as our special sponsor wcc credit union and that is just for the broadcast portion right now we want to talk to one of the parade sponsors for in downtown Baraboo. And so you, you're going to bring in the Dressens from over at Pizza Ranch. That's correct. The Dressens, Ken and Mary Dressen, are uh, the lead sponsor yes. of the parade uh, tonight. And we are just so delighted to have them. So Ken and Mary, come on over. They've been so patient watching uh, from the sidelines here. And it's been um it's been so cold for you, so thank cold. you, no, thank you, welcome. thank you. It's such a pleasure to see both of you, Ken and Mary Dressen from Baraboo's Pizza Ranch. What is it about the downtown Baraboo Christmas Light Parade that has made you choose to be the lead sponsor of this event year after year? Well, being in Pizza Ranch, they've taught us from the get-go, it's all about giving back. And the start of Thanksgiving into Christmas is the season to give back. So it made sense. It made sense to us and to see the smiles on children of all ages. It, it blesses our heart. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Um, your restaurant participates both with things that are going on in your restaurant and things out in the community that are a wide range of local causes and organizations that you are supporting. What is your philosophy of giving back to the community above and beyond what Pizza Ranch's organizational uh, philosophy is well that's another part of it so giving back our community can only be as strong as the people in it and if we don't help support that then we're not really truly part of the community so being all of that doing all of that helping whatever it is and it do really doesn't matter whose fundraiser it is it's ab about helping those in need within our community to make our community the best oh that's wonderful what special thoughts and wishes might you have for the audience this evening as we begin this parade? Well, we, we can look at the camera. We <laughs> want to wish everybody the best Thanksgiving holiday, Christmas season. Stay safe, shop local, and be kind to one another. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, You're Ken welcome. and Mary Dressen from the Pizza Ranch. Uh, Pizza Ranch is the sponsor of this downtown Baraboo Christmas Light Parade. Okay, thank, thank you, you so, thank much. so much. Thanks, thank Maddie. you guys. Thank you. <laughs> the Dressens are wonderful. They My are. goodness. They, they and they are so supportive of everything we do in this community. So it's pretty darn awesome that they were able to get out here tonight because we know they're busy right now, too. Very busy. All right. Excellent. So, oh, well, I see musicians. I see musicians. Oh, my Whoa. goodness. We've got the St. Joseph's Choir here this evening. And Michelle Bushweiler, you happen to be the director of these smiling little faces. So let's go ahead and chat here for just a minute. So tell us about this choir. So this choir is actually 40 members strong. Normally, um, we're missing a few people due to family commitments, but the kids wanted to come out here and share for the community so a few Christmas songs. Nice. And so you guys actually have a concert coming up at the Our Ringling Theater very soon. We do on December 15th. All of these children will be there for choir and then we have 4K through 5 that'll be coming also. 
Wonderful, wonderful. So you guys are going to share some music with us tonight. And so um, I'm just going to let you guys take it and do some performing for us. It is the St. Joseph's Choir right here on Max FM. December 15th. Thank you guys so much for braving the cold and being out here. We appreciate it. Thank you, Michelle. All right. So our pre-parade show is going to continue here on Max FM, cable channel uh, 10, and also uh, antenna channel 43, YouTube, Facebook. We'll be back with a whole lot more music, a whole lot Christmas right here uh, coming up. Broadcast sponsors of the 2021 Downtown Baraboo Christmas Light Parade presented by Pizza Ranch include exclusive lead broadcast sponsor, Teal Plastics, and our community support partners, 
Baraboo State Bank, Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Downs, AT&T Baraboo, Century 21 Affiliated, Bank of Wisconsin Downs, McFarland's, SSM Health, St. Clair Hospital, and special sponsor, WCCU Credit Union. Teal Plastics is growing quickly and looking for people to join our team. We use cutting edge equipment and safety standards in our modern manufacturing environment. Starting wages for experienced manufacturing personnel are as high as $24 per hour. Never worked in manufacturing? We provide training through a dedicated staff with on-the-job coaching and start day shift employees with no experience at $19.10 per hour. Visit our website at teal.com slash careers. Teal is an equal opportunity employer. at this wonderful event in downtown Baraboo, the Christmas Light Parade 2022. I had to put a little chat stick on. Things were starting to freeze in my mouth. <laughs> I know. And the crowd is assembling. They aren't they caring are. how cold oh it is. Oh, my They're gosh. Ready. Look how brave they are. I love this. I love it. It's going to be an absolutely sensational event. Before we went to break, we mentioned that we do have a lot more to get to in this pre-parade show and before all of the floats start. But we want to take a second to thank all of our broadcast sponsors. Our lead sponsor, of course, Teal Platt. Our special sponsor, WCCU Credit Union. We're going to hear from them in just a little bit. And some of our community partners, including AT&T Baraboo, Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells, Baraboo State Bank, SSM Health, St. Clair Hospital, Baraboo, McFarland's Retail Center of Sauk City, Bank of Wisconsin Dells, and Century 21 Affiliated. So thank you to all of them for making this broadcast possible. We'll be talking about some of the actual parade sponsors a little later on this evening as well. But we've got more music to get to so we I'm gonna do. let you take it from here we do we are delighted to have musicians with us this evening who are trying to warm up their instruments and their lips right now but we'll um, be so pleased to have Griffin James the director of the Baraboo High School Thunderbird marching band and Bryson Bauer they are going to be performing a trombone duet but before you do that, I have just a couple of questions for you, Griffin James. Um, you have brought musicians with you this evening. Please tell us a little bit about the musicians you selected for tonight. Uh, the, the music that we've selected for tonight or the musicians? And the musicians. Okay, so I have my colleague here, Mr. Bryson Bauer. He's the middle school band director. We're gonna play some trombone duets. Uh, I also have a couple of students, a uh, trumpet player, his name is Dominic Gray, a senior and a mellophone player, Brooke Beardsley, also a senior. They're gonna be playing a little bit later in this program for you. So we're gonna start off with the first Noel, and after that we will play We Three Kings, and then if you want us to keep playing, we can keep playing. I'll probably have a couple more questions for you when you're done, but please go ahead and play. <laughs> Thank you. 
concert that's going to be taking place next month at the Al Ringling Theater, correct? We do on December 18th, Sunday, December 18th at 2 o'clock. All three of the high school bands will be performing a concert. Um, we're going to be playing lots of holiday tunes and a few other surprises. We'll feature some students as soloists. We'll be playing a little bit of jazz. It's going to be an awesome time. Wonderful. And also the Baraboo High School Thunderbird Marching Band is in the parade tonight. Uh, can you tell us a little bit what we might be hearing? Well, sure. So they're going to be playing an arrangement of jingle bells as they go marching through the streets. And I'm hoping that all their valves and slides don't freeze up on them. Uh, and then at the end of the parade, we're going to park and play as Santa lights the tree. We'll play a medley of Christmas tunes that we call Christmas in our town. Um, we'll probably play jingle bells a few more times as well. So we're looking forward to doing that here. Excellent. Thank you. Do you have one more number yeah, for us? One more. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess we're needing to head to a break. I'm so sorry, but thank you so much for your wonderful music and for coming out on a cold night. And we look forward to hearing the Thunderbird Marching Band in the parade. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. My goodness. I know to be able to play trombones in such cold right? weather. Oh, yes, my I know. Gosh. And so much talent uh, besides that, right? I mean, this is such a talented town, and we're always lucky to have everybody here. Now, we have another special guest joining us right we now. We do, <laughs> and I will step out of the way so the two of you can talk. <laughs> right. Because you're in just the right spot we here. Are. I think this is perfect. Charlene Flight is joining me, of course, from the Al Ringling Theater. And so, Charlene, it's the season for all sorts of entertainment, right? So, why why don't you tell us about some of the fun things that are going to be happening at the Al Ringling Theater this year? We've got a very busy December, and I'm going to try to remember things, and I'm, I'm going to look at my notes to make sure. We've got we've got uh, the Wingra Wind Quintet coming. We've got the Ball Brothers coming. We've got a Madison Brass concert. And then we have other movies at the end of December. But we also have St. Joe's uh, School Concert. And we have the high school concert, and we have a radio play uh, uh, night. It's going to be presented by the radio, yes. and it's going to be broadcast live from the theater. We've got that. So we've got lots of things going on in December. Very nice. And I know that, uh, you know, when it comes to these shows and it comes to all of this great entertainment, uh, how do people get tickets for that? And how can they find out more about some of these really great programs and movies and, and musical acts all coming into the Al? Well, you can go to our website. You can check us on Facebook. And some of these events you will need tickets for, and some of them are free. So it's sort of a Christmas gift back to the community for supporting us during the last year. And uh, so we've got, you can go to our website. You can call the theater. You can look those things up. We have wonderful movies coming up in December. We've got uh, The Polar Express. We've got Home Alone. We've got White Christmas, a sing-along version of White Christmas, and we've got the perennial favorite, It's a Wonderful Life. And so those tickets will be available for the movies uh, online soon. And the dance recital, I forgot Amy's I dance know. recital. There are too many things. That's what I've got my list here. <laughs> so lots of things in December, uh, all types of different experiences. So check us out, call, uh, and come and see us. It's going to be beautiful. There, there's nothing really better than being in the Al Ringling Theater, especially being at the in the Al Ringling Theater at Christmas time. What an amazing opportunity. So we're very glad that you braved the cold so you could come out here tonight and tell Thank us you. a little bit about Thank it. You Thank you so, you so much. much. For Thank you so much. Charlene Flight, she is, of course, with the Al Ringling Theater. And uh, I mean, look at all the movies that we've got coming in this year and uh, some really great ones. Of course, all the music as well. Al Ringling org if you want more information or you want to get some of those tickets now i believe we have more music harry is that right Carrie, you know what? We're going to take a break before we actually get to the, you guys, though. All right. So we'll, we'll come back and you guys will lead us right out of this break. We are going to take a break, though, from the pre-parade show here on 99.7 Max FM, Cable Channel 10, Antenna Channel 43, our YouTube, face, uh, YouTube page and our Facebook page.
place you belong, the place you own. You're more than a number, we know you by name. People helping people to borrow and save. Helping you build a better life. WCC, New Credit Union, feel so right. Teal Plastics is growing quickly and looking for people to join our team. We use cutting edge equipment and safety standards in our modern manufacturing environment. Starting wages for experienced manufacturing personnel are as high as $24 per hour. Never worked in manufacturing? We provide training through a dedicated staff with on-the-job coaching and start day shift employees with no experience at $19.10 per hour. Visit our website at teal.com careers. Teal is an equal opportunity employer. We are back at the 2022 Christmas Light Parade in downtown Baraboo, and we have some more incredible musical talent. You guys are another ensemble that Mr. Griffin James set up. I'll let you introduce yourselves. Hi, my name is Brooke Beardsley, and I'm a senior at Baraboo High School. And I'm Dominic Gray. I'm from Baraboo High School, and I'm also a senior. All right, and you guys have some more great Christmas music. First of all, thank you for being out here, because we know it's a little chilly out here tonight. But uh, you've got a little, uh, some more Christmas music we're going to hear, so I'm just going to let you take it away. <laughs> either so <laughs> you know I was gonna say do we want to give it a second we're learning something on live TV how to like unstick a valve on a valves horn take oil. valves take oil everyone and oil freezes in cold so oh my goodness okay okay you guys go work on that we appreciate you being here go take care of the instruments because I know you guys got to march in this parade in just a few minutes thank you so much guys oh my gosh Carrie it is cold out here tonight it, isn't it holy it buckets is. oh. well we are so glad that they're giving it a shot because we very much appreciate it what talent I know it, they're so talented and they were so kind to want to come out tonight I know but this is not easy playing instruments is, or singing or even cold, talking cold, when it's so cold, cold. stuff <laughs> all right so we have one of our sponsors for this broadcast joining us right now of WCCU Credit Union and you're going to talk with Mary Lynn from over at the Credit Union I'm being told. There you go. <laughs> it is such a pleasure to be with you this evening. Mary Lynn Rick is from the WCCU Credit Union branch here in Baraboo, and you have been so kind to be the special sponsor of the broadcast this evening. Thank you so much. Um, what is it about the Downtown Baraboo Christmas Light Parade that makes you wish to be a special sponsor of its broadcast? Uh, when the credit union opened, we actually, the first parade that we participated in was the Circus World Parade. And when I was walking up with Kevin, our president, I said to him, Kevin, I said, whoa, this parade's not like an Ithaca, where he comes from. <laughs> and after that, I thought, if this community can put together a parade like Circus World, I can't wait until the Christmas light parade. And one of the special things that's so dear to me is not only do people can get out, but not everybody can get out of their homes. We have people that are in a nursing home that will be able to share some of the festivities that 
that Baraboo has to offer by the Christmas light parade. So that's that's why I decided to do it. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, now, you have always something new going on at WCCU. Tell me about your new mobile branch. Our mobile branch. So for the past several years, we have been asked by people, will you put up a WCCU here? Will you put up a WCCU here? Um, after a lot of research, we came up with an idea. Now, we have 11 locations and serve 38,000 people. They came up with an idea to better serve some of those people by getting a mobile branch, which is 34 feet long. So it's like a Class A RV. It has everything that a branch could do. People can open up accounts. They can apply for a loan. We even have an ATM machine on it, too. So the branch so, comes to you. The then. branch, the branch are going to go to the people wherever they're needed, and then also for events. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to have it here this year, but next year I've got it on my docket to have it here so we can show it off a little bit. Wonderful. And then lastly, could you tell us a little bit about your Remember Everyone Deployed program, your Red program that you do? I sure will. Um, Kara Davidson, one of our employees out of our Westby location. Um, came up with this idea. She has a son, so she knows firsthand what this means. She has a son that was deployed to Europe and was over there. And it comes around that you, I mean, to get a package to them, it qu takes a, quite a long time. So what she did, she started packaging some care packages. And she thought, wow, couldn't we do this for some of our other deployed soldiers? Last year, we had three different shipments and had 75 boxes that went out to deployed soldiers. And can people contribute to the RED program? Absolutely. We're taking them through the month of December, or November, excuse me. We'd like to put them out uh, the first, first of December. So we're taking individually snack items, um, some maybe some smaller body care items and those types of things but Wonderful. snacks candies maybe a card of you know thank you for your service would be awesome as well that's wonderful. Mary Lynn, thank you so much for your sponsorship of the broadcast this evening, for your faithful support of our community and for our troops. And thank you so much for being here this evening. Mary Lynn Rick from WCCU Credit Union in Baraboo. Happy Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas. Thank you again. Thank you. There you go, Maddie. Thank you very much, Mary Lynn. We're so glad that we have community partners like WCCU Credit Union, as well as all the amazing sponsors for this parade broadcast, as well as all the sponsors on the actual parade. And uh, we've got to take another break to hear from some of those amazing sponsors. And we will be back with coverage of the 2022 Christmas Light Parade in downtown Baraboo after this. Teal Plastics is growing quickly and looking for people to join our team. We use cutting edge equipment and safety standards in our modern manufacturing environment. Starting wages for experienced manufacturing personnel are as high as $24 per hour. Never worked in manufacturing? We provide training through a dedicated staff with on-the-job coaching and start day shift employees with no experience at $19.10 per hour. Visit our website at teal.com careers. Teal is an equal opportunity employer. Broadcast sponsors of the 2021 Downtown Baraboo Christmas Light Parade presented by Pizza Ranch include exclusive lead broadcast sponsor, Teal Plastics, and our community support partners, Baraboo State Bank, Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Downs, AT&T Baraboo, Century 21 Affiliated, Bank of Wisconsin Downs, McFarland's, SSM Health, St. Clair Hospital, and special sponsor, WCCU Credit Union. During the Depression, my grandfather went hungry around this table. This table has had fists pounded on it, pumpkins carved on it, and babies spit up on it. This table has a story, and the story doesn't end anytime soon. 
Visit McFarland's in Sauk City at 780 Carolina Street, where service is a family tradition. back Harry at the 2022 downtown Christmas light parade and oh look at the streets I mean the cold yeah. doesn't seem to be stopping too many people no and I've even gotten braver I finally took my hood off <laughs> I think that's kind of amazing I must be acclimating it to might this. be stopping my lips from moving but it's not stopping the people from coming so that is good that is good <laughs> news right. here now we mentioned before we went to break that we have a whole list of people who help sponsor this great parade and so I know you've got that list right there I do indeed these are the downtown Downtown Baraboo Christmas Light Parade sponsors. The major sponsor is Pizza Ranch of Baraboo. At the platinum level, the sponsors are Baraboo Motors Group and the City of Baraboo Business Improvement District. Ooh, the gold orders. sponsor is Ho Chunk Gaming, <laughs> Wisconsin Dells. And the silver sponsors are the Baraboo Area Chamber of Commerce, Baraboo State Bank, Becca Kate's Kitchen, Kids, and Home Store, Des Tactical arms indoor shooting range and the international crane foundation many thanks to all of those wonderful businesses for sponsoring this evening's parade on behalf of downtown baraboo incorporated now i don't know if you noticed but it's snowing a little bit out here right now so we're adding to the ambiance of the christmas uh, light parade in downtown baraboo and speaking of that we have another musical guest that's going to join us and this one is very partial to you and your they heart are. they and are so i will let you introduce the Village Voices. Excellent. Come on over. These are my good friends from the Village Voices, a caroling group that uh, entertains in downtown Baraboo. And this evening, we have a portion of that group here with us. There are, are many carolers, and some of these brave souls came out tonight to entertain. Uh, Joan Fordham is their spokesperson this evening. So, Joan, thank you so much for joining us. Tell us a little bit about the Village Voices. The Village Voices started at the Village Booksmith, hence the name, when Annie Randall ran it. And after she passed away, there was a group that wanted to keep it going. So this group has been going for almost 20 years now. Wow, that's wonderful, and it's nice that it, that it continues. Um, when and where can people hear the Village Voices sing other than in just a couple minutes? We sing from 11 to 1 o'clock on Saturdays. We hop in and out of about 30 different uh, shops, stores, restaurants in downtown Baraboo. We are also going to be singing at the um, Sauk County Historical Society on December 10th. And then we're going to be doing uh, part of the radio play at the Al Ringling Theater on the 11th. Wonderful. And what will you be singing this evening? Well, we're going to start with Here We Come a Caroling, which is appropriate. And then we're going to do several other uh, familiar Christmas hymns and just songs. Wonderful. Thank you so much. We will enjoy hearing the village voices. Let's go. 
Wonderful. Thank you so, so much. The Village Voices Carolers bringing wonderful music to a very cold evening in downtown Baraboo. You warmed our hearts. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> that was amazing. Now, you were saying earlier today that uh, you guys hit 26 different businesses today, we caroling? Did, we did. We did. We normally carol in about 30 downtown businesses. Wow. We go in and out uh, from 11 to 1, and we'll be singing every Saturday wow. in downtown Baraboo through December 17th. That was fantastic. And we have over 35 carolers, so it's really fun. We're just a, a flexible, informal group, and if you see a lot of Santa hats and red scarves, you know. <laughs> No, it's us. <laughs> you know, Carrie, we've had a lot of entertainment tonight, and uh, which has all been incredible. But we want to talk about uh, making Christmas very special for some kiddos. And so Bonnie Palm's going to step in here from the Sauk County uh, Children's Giving Tree. And Bonnie, we're going to talk a little bit about the Sauk County Children's Giving Tree. First of all, thank you for being down here on this cold oh, evening. Thank you. And we're so excited that you're here because this is such an important thing that uh, you and this group of ladies and all of these volunteers do. So first. Of all, tell us what the Giving Tree is. The Giving Tree has been around for about 30 some years and we help all of Sauk County. Um, I'm not going to tell you all about all the other things we do. I mainly want to get out what sure. we do for Christmas. For Christmas we do all of Sauk County except for Reedsburg and Sauk who also um, has their own programs. But last year, I'll tell you what we did last year. Last year we did about 250 families. It's amazing. And helped 700 children. 
And this year, I think our needs are going to be a lot more because our applications are coming in like crazy with lots of big families and lots of homelessness. Yeah. So I want to tell you what we do for our families. Our families have, they have, around town you'll find all these tags in many banks, churches, businesses, um, downtown businesses especially. BBC, stop over there tonight. She's got a ton of tags. Um, we give each family two clothing items of their choice, like jackets, boots, coats, whatever they need. They, everyone gets socks and underwear, and then they get a wish item. And besides that, we always give them a, a food card, and depending on how we're doing, it's between $25 and $50 food yep. card. And, be, and we also give every family art supplies and books, what we have. And and lots of extra, and we also try to give them, this may sound frivolous to a lot of people, <laughs> but we like to give them a bag of candy or treats so that they can have something for their stockings, just like we do for most of our kids. You know, and I've had a chance to help you guys and do some volunteering, and it is absolutely one of the most incredible things that I've ever been a part of. And not just you, but the all of the ladies who are over there organizing this, taking the tags. You guys work endlessly to make sure that these families and these kiddos especially have everything they need. And uh, what do you need from people who are watching this right now? What things do you guys need? I need you to get out and get these tags. At home right now, I ha we have 150 tags, which is probably about um, 25 families that we need to still help. And there's applications coming in every day. I'm getting three to five applications for families for help. So, and if anybody, even when you take these tags, another thing that we could really use is um, waterproof gloves and hats for all these kids. Yeah. It's something that if you know, if you have kids, you know how long a pair of gloves last when they go to school. <laughs> right, absolutely. And so that's really the big thing. And I know sometimes you guys need help uh, sorting all of these, getting all of these gifts ready. If people are interested in doing that, how can they get a hold of the Giving Tree? We have, we have a, um, our website is Saw County Children's Giving Tree at gmail.com. We can at, uh, go on there and you'll get a lot of questions answered. Yes. And thank you to Max 99.7 <laughs> for all the help that they do. Well, thank you so much for what you guys do. And make sure you help out these kiddos. You heard Bonnie. They have a lot of tags coming in. And it's so important that we make these holiday wishes come true. Make sure you go check out that website, Sauk County Children's Giving Tree. Now, we're going to be, uh, we're going to toss it over to Carrie. Carrie, how did you get under the tent the already walls. and get all warm? My goodness, Carrie's over there with another special guest to talk about some fun stuff here this evening. Well, it is my pleasure to be able to visit with Paul Walter this evening. This is wonderful. And we're sitting right here in this, this nice kind of little snug area. Yes, we are. <laughs> So, Paul, you are the executive director of the Sauk County Historical Society, and you are always very busy, but tell us what's coming up with the Christmas at the Van Orden. Right. Well, even before that, two weeks from today, on December 3rd, will be the Baraboo Holiday Tour of Homes. That only comes around every th three years or so, so um, uh, got to take advantage of it while it's here. Four historic homes will be decked out for the holidays. Uh, one one will have uh, seven Christmas trees alone and <laughs> a Christmas village with 50 houses and four train sets. So excellent. Can't miss that. Yep. Excellent. So there will be four homes yes. on that yep. tour, and yep. that's taking place on December third. Yeah. Okay. Two to seven p.m. And, 2 to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then the very next weekend is right. Christmas at the Van Orden, correct? Right, Christmas at the Mansion. I'm, I've coined a new phrase, three ways, three days. Okay. So Friday the 9th is the wine and appetizer premiere. Uh, tasty food and, and wine and beer and mulled wine and stuff like that. And in, in a, just a very nice setting of the mansion at night. It just absolutely sparkles. And then Saturday the 10th from 12 to 7, our traditional Jingle Bell open house. And we'll have the horse and carriage rides from 2 until dusk, live music all day, um, uh, 3,000 holiday treats. Um, and then Sunday the 11th, uh, 2 to 7 p.m., uh, Magical Mansion tours. So if people want to uh, um, book a private time to come through on their own, that's, that's what they can do on that day. And again, live music and treats as well there. 
And this year, what is the theme for yeah, your yeah. trees? Yeah, so right, all 11 trees will be decked out to the traditions of Christmas. So like one room will be poinsettias, one, one room will be uh, Santa Claus, one will be the Nutcracker, uh, Twas the Night Before Christmas, and even all the way up to A Christmas Story. And yes, there will be a leg lamp in the Van Orden <laughs> Mansion. It's already there, actually. So, yeah. I don't know how you manage to come up with a new theme yeah, every year, but you do, right. and it's wonderfully creative. Yep. Yeah, and fun. people from throughout the community, throughout the area, adopt trees and rooms, and they design right. them. That yes, is that yeah, right? we've got some veterans that have been doing this for 15 years. We've got some new people this year, so always exciting to see what they come up with. And some, some quite frankly, work on their decorations all year round. So That's wonderful. So the best way to find out all the information is our website, SaukCountyHistory.org, and they can order tickets there and, and um, find Excellent. out all about it. Well, there is a, an entry for the Sauk County Historical Society mm -hmm. that's going to be in the parade this evening. We know that you have places to go. So thank you yes, so much, welcome. Paul, for joining us this <coughs> evening. Mm -hmm. And we'll be right back in just a minute. Okay. Teal Plastics is growing quickly and looking for people to join our team. We use cutting edge equipment and safety standards in our modern manufacturing environment. Starting wages for experienced manufacturing personnel are as high as $24 per hour. Never worked in manufacturing? We provide training through a dedicated staff with on-the-job coaching and start day shift employees with no experience at $19.10 per hour. Visit our website at teal.com careers. Teal is an equal opportunity employer. November is Native American Awareness Month. Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells, is celebrating this year with the Ho-Chunk Day Pow Wow, a free family culture event that is open to the public. November 25th, only at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. The Christmas season arrives in Baraboo. Welcome to the Downtown Baraboo Christmas Light Parade, presented by Pizza Ranch. Stay tuned for special guests and live entertainment. Tonight's parade coverage is brought to you by exclusive lead broadcast sponsor, Teal Plastics, and our community support partners, Baraboo State Bank, Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dallas, AT&T Baraboo, Century 21 Affiliated, Bank of Wisconsin Dells, McFarland's, SSM Health, St. Clair Hospital, and special sponsor, WCCU Credit Union. Now, let's go live to downtown Baraboo on the square. Welcome back to the Downtown Baraboo Christmas Light Parade broadcast this evening. I am so pleased to have Paige Kramer joining me. We were just talking about the fact that the parade is always held around her birthday. And I think, what a lovely thing for our community to have such a nice party for you. Right, it's a fantastic birthday present every single year. Yes, it is. Paige, yep. Paige is wearing two hats this evening, not only as a representative of Corner Drug, the home Town Pharmacy here, but also with Downtown Baraboo Incorporated. So um, let's start talking first about Corner Drug. Your business sponsors Santa's arrival in yep. Baraboo. So uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yep, we have we have sponsored um, Santa's Wagon um, along with help from David Salutis at, uh, and Circus World every year of the parade since the beginning of the parade. And we just love to do it. We we love to be able to support the, the wonderful community that we're a part of. We love being a part of the Baraboo community and especially downtown Baraboo. And, and 
and we love to to do whatever we can um, to to help support the community, doing different things, selling tickets, doing lots of different things to to help out the community. We just love to do it. Oh, that's wonderful, yeah. Paige. Thank you. And now, putting on your downtown Baraboo hat, uh, there will be weeks of delightful Christmas activity taking place now, week after week after tonight's parade. Give us just an idea of what some of those things might be. Right, right, yep. So we'll, uh, with Downtown Baraboo, we'll have um, different events every every week. Um, there will be um, shopping, retail shopping available from various businesses seven days a week, um, along with restaurants open seven days a week and, and things like that. Um, and then uh, starting after Santa comes, uh, after the parade here, we'll have um, horse-drawn carriage rides every Saturday and um, meeting Santa every, every Saturday. Saturday. Um, so all of the things to just come experience Christmas and experience the holidays and, and the magic. And how do people find out about Downtown Baraboo and the events taking place here? Um, so we have all of the information on our website at downtownbaraboo.com and then um, we also have all of the events listed on our Facebook page and, and lots of posts and, and information on there too. Wonderful. Well, we will be looking for Santa this evening with yes. our thanks to you folks at Hometown Pharmacy Corner Drug yes. and also to uh, Downtown Baraboo for doing so many wonderful things, including this evening's parade. I see that the lights have dimmed now, so that's yes. telling us that the parade will be starting soon. Yep, it's coming. It's coming. Yep. Well, thank you so much again, Paige. Thank and you for having Enjoy me. this evening, and yes. I hope it's a wonderful birthday party oh, for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so soon we are going to be joined by Maddie Jones again, and we're going to be enjoying more of an opportunity to get a little, little taste of what's going on right here in downtown Baraboo as we wait for the beginning of the Christmas light parade. Paige, thank you so much. All right. Boy, the crowd is really assembling. I just, I can't believe it. It's it's a cold, blustery evening, but oh my gosh, it is grand out here. Um, there, the people are several people thick already. And when we were caroling downtown this morning, I saw that people already had their chairs out, their blankets out, reserved along the street. So it was pretty amazing. I made it over to the booth, Carrie. <laughs> Well, it's so nice to see you again, well, I'm Maddie. I'm so glad I'm here. I'm caught in cords and all of that, but I think we're good. We're good. We're getting ready for this fantastic parade. And like you were saying, I mean, the fact that people are sitting out here tonight waiting for this, you just know what a special, special event this is in downtown Baraboo. Um, if you're not and you're sitting at home watching it, thank you so much. Uh, multiple ways to watch, watch it. And, of course, we want to thank our parade sponsors. Lead sponsor, Teal Plastics, our special sponsor, WCCU Credit Union, and of course our community partners, AT&T Baraboo, Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells, Baraboo State Bank, SSM Health St. Clair Hospital, Baraboo, McFarland's Retail Center of Sauk City, Bank of Wisconsin Dells, and Century 21 Affiliated. And I'm hearing music and all of that coming. It's coming around. I know it's coming. I'm very excited for the light parade. <laughs> I am too. The minute we see the lights dim, we know that the parade yes. is going to get underway. Yes. And so it's it's very exciting. And of course, we're toward the end of the route. Yes. And that's intentional because we are across from the Al Ringling Theater where that's where things will be yes. happening when, uh, when the parade, when the parade uh, uh, comes to a conclusion. And we'll have front row seats along with all of you who are watching us on television, watching us on Facebook, mm -hmm. watching us on YouTube, or listening to us on the radio. We'll be giving you a play-by-play. -play. And speaking of play. Yes. Oh my goodness, we have a Christmas carol, uh, a, like a radio version that's going to be on the stage at the Al Ringling Theater. Uh, and I know Village Voices, we've heard a lot from them tonight. And we've talked about them, but you guys are going to be providing some of the music for that too. We are. We've been tapped to uh, to provide some music that will lend to the um, ambiance yes. of the play. The play is a Christmas carol, and um, we're delighted to be part of it. And how wonderful that 99.7 Max XFM will be airing this yes. program. It's Sunday, December 11th at 2 p.m. at the Al Ringling Theater.
you can go watch it on the stage for $9 mm -hmm. a person, or you can listen to yes. it on the radio like a radio play. Like an old-fashioned when they used to do radio on the radio kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. When they when they used to do programs yes. like that on the radio. Yes. I had an opportunity to talk a little bit with Ben Bromley, who is organizing yep. this. And because so many of the performers who are going to be in this were also in Mary yep. Poppins, they've already brushed up on their British accents. Love it. So they're all ready to go with yes. it. I think it's going to be just a, a wonderful production. And you mentioned Ben Bromley, so we do have to give a special shout out to Baraboo Theater Guild as well as Cab Theater because they're really coming together to make sure that this happens. So we couldn't be more excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. This was this was a brain trust from way prior to COVID day. So we actually got it up and running this year. So we're very excited about it. Well, it's going to be fun. According to the information Ben was, uh, was telling me, he's going to be the narrator Love of it. it. And then Dale Loomis is going to be Ebenezer Scrooge, Bill Arbogast is going to be both Marley's Ghost and the Ghost of Christmas Past, Scott Rawson is going to be Bob Cratchit, Barb Bromley is going to be Mrs. Cratchit <laughs> and the Ghost of Christmas Present. Wonderful. Uh, Derek Ford, who is Bert in Mary Poppins, yep. is going to be Scrooge's nephew, Fred. And then Sarah Horowitz, who was Mary Poppins, is going to be Fred's fiance, Belle. So you're going to have a great cast Fun. for a great production. It's going to be fantastic. On so, the stage of the Al I know. It's a beautiful setting. It's going to be a fun production, and we can't wait. So we, we are very excited to work with everybody. Um, while we're sitting here waiting for the parade, and uh, as we're watching monitors and things, I'm starting to see stuff happen way off in the distance. Uh, I want to thank our fantastic crew who's out here today. Uh, you and I kind of show up at the very last minute, you know, so we can say we're cold, but they've been out here since early today. So we've got to thank the grand poobah, as I like to call him, my husband, Corey Hartman, uh, John Baker and Andrew Kilgallen from Baker Sound for making sure that everybody can hear tonight's broadcast. You've got Dave Ruland over on a camera. You've got Dave Grant on a camera. My kid Max is on a camera out here on the street. Dexter, he's out here running around. He's kind of our gopher tonight. And then, of course, we got to thank Wendy Grant, who made sure that our table looks absolutely amazing. And you speak of a gopher. Uh, she gets the boys everything they need throughout the day. So thank you to our crew. Absolutely. If it was not for all of that team effort yes. by such a highly qualified group of people, this broadcast would not be <laughs> possible. And it is a tremendous amount of work. And yes just that much harder when it's so terribly cold outside mm -hmm. and windy as it's been today. And talking about Wendy Grant, I am wearing hand, hand warmers, warmers <laughs> because of Wendy Grant and she gave us all little packets of Kleenex yes. and she's taking such good care oh, of us. She's amazing. She's an amazing person. So we thank her for taking care of us uh, when obviously I couldn't take care of myself today. So she made sure <laughs> we had everything. So it was, it was fantastic. Uh, I'm just getting so excited and ready. I mean, the crowd is getting ready. You can hear the anticipation. The kids are super excited because we know that they're waiting for Santa Claus. That's always the big draw, right? I think the kids of all ages are waiting yes, for Santa Claus Santa. because when Santa arrives in downtown Baraboo, Gosh, and that how, means the holidays here. And how do we get so lucky in Baraboo that not only do we get Santa tonight, but basically every Saturday from here on out? This I think that we're on stuff. the nice list, not we the naughty list. We have to. Maybe it's the elephants. Oh, maybe secretly maybe. he's always wanted an elephant, too, to pull the sleigh. <laughs> Who knows, right? Or maybe it's because this community is such a great community. Yes, in is. fact, when I was talking with Seth Taft from downtown Baraboo and asking him who the Grand Marshal was going to be, he said this year year, downtown Baraboo decided it was not going to be one person mm -hmm. or two people. It was going to be all of the residents of downtown Baraboo or of Baraboo because Baraboo residents know how to be kind, to reach out in kindness and generosity to each other. They do such wonderful things yes. for others. We heard some of that this yes. evening from the Dressens, from the Giving Tree. You know, we just know that there are some wonderful things happening here all of the time. And I have a feeling Santa was paying attention to that too. I think so. How could you not? How I could know. you not to all the good stuff that's happening? I think it's amazing in a community that 
this size, how how giving it really is. And we have such amazing organizations where everybody's just really trying to take care of one another. And yes. I can honestly say not every community has that. So it's it's refreshing to see here in Baraboo. And it's heartwarming. I, again, I think what a lovely idea and a wonderful gesture on the part of downtown Baraboo to consider mm -hmm. all of Baraboo's residents to be our grand marshals yeah. this evening. Um, and so all of you from Baraboo, just look in the mirror and you'll be <laughs> seeing the grand marshal. <laughs> I love that, I love that. I love that it's not just one person. We just, we need big mirrors lining the street now tonight. <laughs> They'd be all fogged over from our breath and our scarves, so I think. I think so. Oh my goodness. It is, it is definitely a chilly night out here. So if you are watching in the comfort of your home right now, this broadcast, thank you so much for having it on. We always appreciate you. Uh, if you're still trying to figure out a place to watch it cable channel 10 uh, you can catch it on antenna channel 43 you can also see it over on our youtube page and we're streaming live right now on our facebook page 99.7 max fm i see sight lights and sirens coming and i see fun things happening in front of us carrie oh my goodness I, it's parade time and especially in baraboo we know that the beginning of a parade is often marked by carson howell and his rocket cycle uh, that rocket cycle is pretty amazing. It is a parade favorite. It's a 50 inch, 100 pound monocycle that can go all the way up to 35 miles wow. an hour. And it's one big wheel that the rider rides inside of. It's kind of like a unicycle, but you're riding inside of it instead. And it is so popular that between T.J. Howell, his son Carson, his son Hunter, they have appeared in more than 500 parades. Holy and buckets. I think it's rather picturesque. <laughs> this is so much like a Hallmark movie. Right? It's starting to snow. It's amazing. As the rocket cycle is coming down the street, <laughs> it's as if on cue it started to snow. There is nobody who does a Hallmark movie uh, mystique like Baraboo. We'll say that, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. I, somebody must have said it's now time for it to snow. <laughs> <laughs> and so it started. Hopefully this light snow continues until Santa can like the tree on that marquee <laughs> here tonight. That would be just absolutely the perfect. Hallmark has nothing on Baraboo. We'll put it like that. We've got it all cornered at this point. That's right. That's right. <laughs> This is just like a Hallmark movie as it is it right is, here. It is, it is, <laughs> always. I've told this story a thousand times. At the time we were looking at buying the station and coming into this town, uh, we'd been coming in and out of the community trying to get a feel for it. One of the times we came in was during the Christmas holiday. And I just looked at my husband and I said, that's it, this is where we're going. <laughs> Perfect and here choice. We, I know, and here Perfect we are. Perfect choice. And we're so fortunate that you folks decided Baraboo was going to oh, be your it's, home. It's always our pleasure to be here. Oh, getting the crowd a little into the, this oh, monocycle yeah. and all it can do. Uh, he's got a perfect uh, strip here to do the 35 miles per hour. <laughs> he does. <laughs> and if we if we watch carefully, he may just go that fast down the street. He may. He may. And behind him will be a Baraboo police squad yes. car, so maybe he better not go 35 <laughs> miles an hour. He might want to keep it at 25. He, yeah, he might want to keep it under. And make sure you go one way down the one-way street. That's right. That's right. How fun. And there is Carson waving to us. <laughs> the, the people just love it's that entry. And it so always exciting. marks the front of, of one of our parades. Right? Yeah. Here it comes. Here. Oh, oh, he's right in front of us now. Oh, spinning around. I'm always excited around. to see what he's going to do, too. Spinning around. Oh, my gosh. And he's drawing <laughs> huge applause from the crowd. <laughs> and he's challenging them on both sides of the street. <laughs> Who can yell louder? <laughs> that looks like one of those things, once I got into it, I would not get out of it. So I'm glad he's more limber than I am. My goodness. <laughs> and what a showman, you know, that yes. he, would, he would start revving up the crowd yes. and getting them all excited. The Howell family had quite the year, too. I mean, between performing at Circus World this year and then, of course, they were on uh, America's Got Talent. And yes. They had quite the year, for sure. They definitely have talent, and it's multi-generational. Yes. So we were As very we fortunate. We were fortunate to see Carson in the parade tonight 
and if we uh, keep our eyes open, we may be seeing his dad in the parade okay. and another entry uh, uh, coming down the street. And tonight, there are over 50 units in this parade. My so goodness. That's exciting. People the rocket cycle being the first one. People love the light parade. It just means that the holidays are here. How could you not love this? I know. And of course, as we're sitting here, we're watching the Baraboo Police Department make their way down the street, too. Lights flashing. They're just naturally colorful and ready for the holidays, aren't they? <laughs> yes, they are. And they do so much. All of our first yes. responders do so much to keep us safe, mm -hmm. to keep us safe and secure for this to be the charming and wonderful community that it yes. is. So we have to really give a shout out and uh, and a thanks to the Baraboo Police Department, the EMS, the Fire yep. Department, the Sauk County Sheriff's Department, and all of those who are the first responders who keep us safe. We are very lucky in this community. We are indeed. I think the police car is kind of moving slowly, not knowing where the rocket cycle was, <laughs> is going to be. <laughs> or it's frozen. Maybe it's frozen too. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Just like the rest of us this right. evening. Whether it's a trombone slide or a trumpet oh or, my goodness, or our, the feet, valves, yeah, our, our feet, feet our feet, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> our hands, whatever. <laughs> I will say my lips have started working a little bit better coming out of the wind and being underneath of our canopy here. So I, I am very grateful for that. Me too. And now it's just my toes that yes. are cold. <laughs> yes. I, the 35 below boots and all of the socks in the world could not, could not make up for the toe freeze tonight. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> It's just amazing to see this many people crowded down here on a night when it feels like a hot cocoa kind of night at home. They are selling hot cocoa down here, though, too, so you can warm up that way if you're down at the parade. Absolutely. Or if you're at home watching, make some hot cocoa yes. and enjoy this magnificent parade. It is. It's. A, I'm, we're just getting started. My goodness. Coming down the street right now, we have the Pizza Ranch banner. It recognizes the major presenting sponsor of tonight's downtown Baraboo Christmas Light Parade. Of course, Pizza Ranch of Baraboo. We got to talk with the Dressens a little earlier this evening in that pre-parade show. And they're such wonderful people. Ken and Mary do so much for our community, both in their restaurant and out into the community. Yes. And they have such a wonderful philosophy for community involvement, community generosity. They have hearts that just always want to be giving. And, and we are so yes. grateful to have them as part of our community. Pizza Ranch is celebrating 16 years in Baraboo. And they, of course, at Pizza Ranch, wish everybody a blessed Christmas season. And that is from Ken, Mary, and their entire staff at Pizza Ranch of Baraboo. And you can see coming into view here on camera, their beautifully lighted float. Mm -hmm. So, so nice. Something special and magical about the light parade. Absolutely. We're it's so fortunate here to have not only this amazing light parade every year, but then of course we have the circus parade in the summer months and just two very unique events that happen right here in downtown Baraboo. Yes, just about six months apart between the yes. two of them. And um, that's a lot for one community to be able to um, organize, but they everyone does it with just such, um, such efficiency and effectiveness. I want to thank quickly all the volunteers who are out here tonight too, making this parade possible. I know your husband, Larry, is one of those volunteers. <laughs> he, is, so. he is, he's bundled up with long <laughs> underwear tonight. Oh, and here we see Mary Dr Dressen. Uh, she's coming kind of near the camera. Uh, she's out throwing candy to the crowd. Oh, there she is waving to the camera. And behind her is the West Bend Marching Band. Uh, they are the Excellence with Pride Marching Band under the direction of Leah Duckert Kroll and Corey Murphy. They're internationally recognized, having traveled all around the world, comprised of sophomores through seniors. They perform all over. Let's take a listen.
and all decked out in Christmas lights yes, on I their love instruments, it. on their bodies. They're, they sounded wonderful and they look wonderful. They do. That was amazing. Thank you to the West Bend High School Marching Band. Following right behind them, we have Baraboo City Mayor uh, Rob Nelson. He is being driven in, an, in the rickshaw. We all know Shelly Mordini's rickshaw in town. Mayor Rob, as we like to call him. <laughs> That's right. And Shelly owns Baraboo Tours, yes. and she gives tours in her rickshaw. And uh, Rob Nelson is uh, our downtown mayor, and he really loves the idea of being able to use some kind of green technology when riding in a parade and he always likes to ride in Shelly Mordini's rickshaw. <laughs> I love that. He was all lighted up too. Yes he was. <laughs> he loves the holiday as he well. He does, he does. <laughs> Next we see an entry from Baraboo Motors Group and that also has all kinds of lights on it. It's a Jeep Gladiator. They've been serving the area as our new and used Dodge Jeep and Ram dealer for over 10 years. Also one of the sponsors of tonight's parade in downtown Baraboo. That's beautiful. Lovely, look at the big red bow on the front <laughs> of that. That means it could be a Christmas it gift for somebody. It might be, it might be. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Hopefully somebody's taking some notes here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here is this the Baraboo Elks Lodge, number 688, right behind that uh, entry from the Bar from Baraboo Motors Group. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in, the, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. And Santa is going to be there Saturday, December 17th, when the Baraboo Elks Lodge will host its 105th annual Children's Christmas Party. That party will be held in the basement of the Masonic Temple, just next door to the Elks Lodge on 2nd Avenue. Kids can enjoy a short program and then, of course, a visit with Santa Claus. And then each will receive a traditional Christmas stocking. That's been going for many, many hundreds of years. That's My goodness. right, for over 100 years. And what a wonderful entry. I it even has this. music on it. Beautiful. Very lovely. Very beautifully done. From the Baraboo Elks Lodge, number 688. 105 years is what that uh, banner on that float said for their, their kids' Christmas. One, 105 years of having a Christmas program with Amazing. Santa. Next we see coming into view is the propane connection. Uh, they are located in Portage, Wisconsin, right near Baraboo. They provide full service gas service to residential, commercial, and farm customers in Columbia and surrounding counties. Now that is one gigantic semi and it's got all kinds of lights on it. I bet you that took a while. <laughs> I think it did. And a ladder. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Especially if you're us. It definitely took a ladder. Oh, that's a wonderful entry from Propane Connection. Coming behind them, you see Oak Park Place of Baraboo. Love their banner. I know, I love their pun. Fond, fond of our dear <laughs> residents. That's awesome. You know, they're fond of their dear yes, residents. Yes, yes. <laughs> their popular green bus is decorated like a deer and is featuring some of the residents. Staff members dressed like deer themselves are walking alongside. Nestled next to the scenic Baraboo Bluffs for the past 14 years, Oak Park Place offers independent livings, assisted living, and memory care communities for adults ages 55 plus. I see Spider-Man too. <laughs> Spider-Man with a Santa hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I see they have all the deer right on board there. There's they Prancer do. and Blitzen and Comet and Dasher on this side. <laughs> I do, I see that. Oh, and everybody's waving from inside the bus. I see oh. lights inside there. Oh, what fun. What fun. Oak Park Place is just a, a wonderful place. And behind them, we can see a banner and we see some skaters from the Kindness Skate Shop. They are Baraboo's only skater owned and operated skate shop. The Kindness Skate Shop is located right here in downtown Baraboo and they are busy raising funds for the Baraboo Community yes. Skate Park. Now look at that talent, my gosh. They were zipping by us during that pre-parade show. <laughs> they were, they were. And with a lot of skill. Yes, <laughs> more <laughs> skill than I would ever have. I There's no way I'd be able to do that. Carson Howell and uh, these skateboarders, they have my total, total praise. 
there is some, oh my gosh, some real talent. Wow. Wow. Doing all kinds of tricks. Yes, I love that. Good for them. Coming into view right now are lighted ATVs and UTVs from the Baraboo Bluffs ATV UTV Club. They've been around since 2018. It's a nonprofit that promotes safe, scenic, and functional ATV routes in the Baraboo area for all uh, who respect and the use of them. It's a community-minded group, and they support area businesses through ATV recreation as well as ATV safety and safe riding practices. They also help connect friends and neighbors using safe and enjoyable alternative means of transportation. So not only are these super fun and decorated uh, extremely well, but uh, this is a group who does a whole lot to help out the local communities. They do, they are so philanthropic. They are always yes. offering their time, their talents, raising funds, giving funds to things in our community. Mm -hmm. And I love seeing how all of their ATV, UTVs, all have Christmas decorations yes. on them, lots of lights. This is a big group too. It is, it is. And I know in the summertime after that circus parade, they're usually the ones who do cleanup in downtown Baraboo by using those ATVs and those UTVs around town. They are, by the time they're through and all of the volunteers working, you would never know that there had been any kind of an event in downtown because everything is yes. pristine and clean all over again. They are so fast and efficient. <laughs> they are, they are. Although I have to say that people who come to our community and, and attend our parades are always very respectful. Yes. You don't see people just throwing trash on the ground intentionally. Very true. And we're very thankful for that. Wonderful. Again, oh. the Baraboo AT Bluffs ATV UTV Club making their way down the parade route this evening. And so many of the entries, we see people who are giving out candy, yes. giving out goodies, the kids love that. And now we see coming into view snowmobile snow season and it really is upon <laughs> us. There isn't, yes. there, that's, that's literal after all the snow we've yes. had lately. You can enjoy a magical winter at Gateway Power Sports. They specialize in used Polaris snowmobile, ATV and UTV parts, service and sales in the greater Wisconsin Dells, Baraboo area. Very nice. That looks like the kind of place you could have a whole lot of fun at, doesn't it? It sure does. <laughs> and they had a great entry with That's fantastic. kids in costume yes. and some of the Pol Polaris snowmobiles and everything. That's that's great. Those are some people who know how to dress for the winter. <laughs> wow, Thank we're you. even oh, being given candy. That. Thank you. Thank you. How nice. <laughs> they didn't forget about us. That's, that's right. fantastic. <laughs> And here we see one more entry from Polara Sports, Power Sports. There, the, the Gateway Power Sports. And Lacey Steffes walking alongside yep. from uh, downtown Baraboo and Spa Serenity. And this next unit that we see is a charming entry from the Double KD Ranch Campground, a family-run campground in the greater Baraboo area since 1964. Ken and Carla Cady are seen driving their Ford truck along with a hay wagon there, and you can hear some music on board. <laughs> Looks like everybody's toasty warm and having a great time on having that wagon. a great time. I love that. <laughs> Double KD Ranch Campground. That was a great, great entry. It was. Again, you know, this this is just such a charming parade mm -hmm. because you see entries representing all kinds of yes. businesses and groups. You see groups of children who will be in the parade as well as adults. And everyone's, um, everyone's interpretation of the theme yep. is just great. Yes, and this year's theme was Believe in the Magic of Christmas. And yes. so we're getting to see that a little bit with some of these entries here this evening. Yes, we are. The kids look like they're having a great time out here. And we look like we have a little bit of a lull here, why people get caught up, why some of these other entries get caught up. So what we're going to do, Carrie, is we're going to take a quick break. We're going to hear some from some of our broadcast sponsors, and we'll be back with more parade coverage on 99.7 Max FM. <laughs> 
Broadcast sponsors of the 2021 Downtown Baraboo Christmas Light Parade presented by Pizza Ranch include exclusive lead broadcast sponsor, Teal Plastics, and our community support partners, Baraboo State Bank, Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Downs, AT&T Baraboo, Century 21 Affiliated, Bank of Wisconsin Downs, McFarland's, SSM Health, St. Clair Hospital, and special sponsor, WCCU Credit Union. Teal Plastics is growing quickly and looking for people to join our team. We use cutting edge equipment and safety standards in our modern manufacturing environment. Starting wages for experienced manufacturing personnel are as high as $24 per hour. Never worked in manufacturing? We provide training through a dedicated staff with on-the-job coaching and start day shift employees with no experience at $19.10 per hour. Visit our website at teal.com slash careers. Teal is an equal opportunity employer. We are back, Carrie, at the 2022 Christmas Light Parade in downtown Baraboo, and the crowd is having a great time. They're not letting this cold get to them at all. Our lips are moving a little bit better now that we're out of the wind. <laughs> I know. This is a great spot that we're at, and we should thank Wendy Grant for all of yes. the lovely decoration we have on our on our table here. This is a nice, toasty spot. It and is. for those of you who are watching, either near or far, if you're sitting at home with your feet curled rolled up under you and drinking some hot chocolate, you're getting a front row seat thanks to the great folks here at 99.7 Max FM, uh, seeing this on TV 43, on Spectrum Cable 10 in the Baraboo area, and also on 99.7 Max FM's uh, Facebook page, live streaming, and on YouTube. That's right. Lots of ways to see the parade Multiple or to hear platforms. it. That's right, absolutely. And with it being on Facebook and YouTube, Remember, if you you know want to watch it again at some point, you're always able to do that. So we we very fortunate that way. And the kids look like they're running around to get some candy right now. And I love it as I look at some of them. Their little cheeks are all <laughs> rosy. You know, they got little red noses. That's right. We might have a few little Rudolphs That's there. That's right. That's right. <laughs> such a fun fun event Absolutely. and it brings out the very best in a community yes it sure does and the camera is catching some of the crowd that's assembled here and also doing a spectacular job of showing entries like this one yes. from Lamer's bus line. They've been serving the Baraboo District since 2019. And here we see some of Santa's helpers in the big yellow bus. Very nicely decorated too. Very lovely lights. Very fun. Festive. Wonder if it's that festive when they go to school every morning. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully anyway, right? <laughs> And now we're seeing an entry from St. Joseph's Catholic School, a Catholic parish and school. The theme of their entry is let his word unwrap the magic of Christmas. What a beautiful entry with it's all lovely. of the gigantic gifts and they all have lights on them. Yes, absolutely. I love that. We've got some little gymnasts here from Elite Gymnastics following them up. That's right, there are over 20 of them, and they are sharing the magic as snowflakes, nature's <laughs> most fragile things, but look what they can do when they stick together. Oh, they're adorable. <laughs> Elite is a local gymnastics club for girls ages four and older. Their program provides an opportunity to experience fun recreational classes, as well as team competition, its individuality, as well as its team aspects. Elite Gymnastics Academy strives to build athletes who can be successful in high school competition as well as well into their college years. They also have their self-defense centers too. Absolutely. So we're seeing a combination of them here. 
And when it comes to the self-defense, they have a team of about 20. Uh, the self-defense center demonstration team has been located in downtown Baraboo since 1990. Their goal is to give every student the ability to defend themselves while teaching life skills, including respect, discipline, control, and leadership. That was a wonderful entry. I can't imagine doing all of those flips and everything mm -hmm. all the way down the street. Right. <laughs> right. I, I totally, I was never able to do a flip like that. So the <laughs> fact that they can do it all the way down the street and on the, as cold as it is on that pavement too. Absolutely. Here we see coming into view an entry from the Walnut Hill Bible Church in Baraboo. It features their We Believe Children's Choir singing Christmas songs and carols. See if we can hear a little bit of them as they get closer to the cameras. So pretty. It is beautiful. And they've definitely embraced <laughs> the, 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 the theme of believing. You Very see some of them so. holding signs that say faith, some that say believe. How lovely. And forgive. Beautiful. All of the things that we should be remembering all year long, but particularly strike a chord when we are thinking about the holidays. Absolutely. Following Walnut Hill, we see Baraboo State Bank coming into the picture this evening. The magical float from Baraboo State Bank is carrying Queen Elsa, Princess Anna, or is it Anna? I, I don't remember my Frozen. Olaf, Kristoff, and Sven. There are little kids right now screaming at their TV that I probably mispronounced it. <laughs> Donned with a spectacular ice castle, lights galore, and snow everywhere. This is truly Frozen, uh, and it is tonight, too. <laughs> yes, uh, they got the theme right before they even started over at Baraboo State Bank. Wisconsin's oldest bank, Baraboo State, has been the cornerstone of this community since 1857. As the sign says on the front of their phone, Float, Baraboo State Bank is celebrating 165 years in business this year. And on the back sign, you'll be able to see that in just a moment. The sign reminds us to let your magic happen with Third Oak Investment Services. What a spectacular, spectacular float this evening from Baraboo State Bank. That is beautiful. And I loved the use of lights. Yes. That was very lovely. And next we see coming into view an entry from Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. This bright float was created by Jordan Dominguez and the Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells marketing staff. And it features the theme, Let the Casino Light Up Your Christmas. <laughs> they have been celebrating their 29th year in business in our community. So it's welcome to who casino so they're really playing on yes. the whole Grinch theme that's great wow so we know what their marketing staff is capable of we had no idea that they were this gifted in float design either no and that takes a special talent and look at that there's there's such detail such color wow. and a spectacular use of lights and how they they tie it in with the jackpot mm -hmm. yes. and and how it comes up as three ho ho hos and they have the grinch on there that is cute and the tree says stink yes, stink stink, stink. <laughs> <laughs> and i believe on the other side of that float is another grinch walking through the parade this evening too oh i missed that oh wonderful oh my goodness that is just darling bright and happy and uh Fantastic. definitely a great yep, oh there's, there's the grinch, the uh -oh, grinch. Uh -oh. let's see there if we can is. get him on camera <laughs> So cute. Oh my goodness. And right behind that, we have St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church. This is a great entry. It celebrates the holidays peanut style. There's everyone's favorite pup, Snoopy, and his pal Woodstock, along with the Christmas story from the Book of Luke that Linus reads in the popular animated special, A Charlie Brown Christmas. One of my all-time favorites, Carrie. Mine too, from childhood on. I, I Even just the, the music of it makes me yes. kind of nostalgic. 
nostalgic. I yes. love it. Oh, it's one of my favorites. It, that part where Linus does read uh, from from Luke is is my favorite part of it. that. And when they dance, I always try to recreate <laughs> the dances, just like the Peanuts characters. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have another entry that's coming this time. It is from the New Life Community Advent Christian Church, and their theme is Believe the Magic. And as you can see, there is a manger there, and high above the manger is a star from the New Life Community Advent Christian Church located on Elizabeth Street in Baraboo. Believe the magic. I think every day should be a little bit about believing in the magic, but it's, I'd love to see that, especially this time of year. I do too, I do too. Gosh, every entry is just so gorgeous. They've and done such an amazing job, all of these businesses and organizations. Including this one from mm -hmm. the Baraboo Children's Museum. You're getting a really good view of that on camera right now. This delightful float it has a theme of believe in the magic of imagination. And on board, we see that there are all kinds of books, books for children to be reading. They see that as being uh, a way to extending our own imaginations. And near them is a magical mirror that helps them to see themselves through their imaginations. Oh. A lovely entry from the Baraboo Children's Museum located on 8th Street Such in Baraboo. Such an amazing message as well. Following right behind them is the uh, uh, Cub Scout Pack. I'll get it out yet. 377. Uh, they're represented with the banner flags and scouts all the way to the littlest of them. You can see some wagons there. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> and behind them we see a banner from the St. Paul's Lutheran Church. And their entry will be coming into view soon. <clears throat> it's so nice that we see so many entries from churches, yes. from organizations, from groups. And this one is from St. Paul's Lutheran Church. Theirs is the real miracle of Christmas, is the theme of this lovely float. Uh, we see gifts that reveal a nativity scene representing the real miracle, the birth of Jesus. Very nicely done. Let his word unwrap the real magic of Christmas. Beautiful entry this evening. Here we see an entry from Madison College, the northern region. It's Madison College's uh, Wolfie Workshop, having fun and getting ready for the holiday season. That's darling. They look like they're having a good time up there. And they've got music on their, on their float as well. Lots of lights. And there's Wolfie himself <laughs> dancing to the music. <laughs> And followed by some elves who are yes. uh, who are flanking the uh, the entry. That was really charming from Madison College's northern region. Coming into view behind them, you can see DEZ Tactical Arms and Indoor Shooting Range. This features an AM General Deuce and a Half driven by Dwayne and Quinn. The, oh boy, you're going to have to help I me. I think with it's Zawistowski. Okay, all right. My Z lips are not working quite that well yet this <laughs> evening, Carrie. Uh, from DEZ Tactical Arms and Indoor Shooting Range in Baraboo. This year, DEZ celebrates 10 years of custom rifle building. They offer sales, custom builds, training to lessons, leads, and full service gunsmithing. That is quite the truck making its way down, down in downtown Baraboo right now. And they have a, a Christmas tree that's made out of lights and in front of it a gigantic inflatable that shows a <laughs> penguin in an igloo. That's so cute. We all feel like we're living in that penguin's igloo this evening. I, I think so. My, my, toes, <laughs> my toes have turned into ice cubes. Yes, I think. very much so. Very much so. The next entry that's coming into view comes from Wannabe Campground and RV Resort. This is a fun entry that celebrates the holidays with some sweet camping. That's very cute. Oh, it is. That's so sweet. And again, it has it has music from Wannabe Campground and RV Resort in Wisconsin Dells. <laughs> well, it's not every day that you see a miniature version of a Blaine's yes. Farm and Fleet Semi. <laughs> Baraboo FFA, the Baraboo FFA <laughs> alumni and supporters and Blaine's Farm and Fleet have partnered together this evening to show how homey 
Baraboo is during the holidays. And so behind the little semi that's still on camera <laughs> there because it's so darn cute is the bigger version here that's coming from wow. Baraboo FFA, FFA alumni and supporters, and Blaine's Farm and Fleet, oh, the Polar Express. Express. One of my favorite Christmas movies, which is oh. going to be at the Owl this year, too, as we learned in the pre-parade show. Yes, isn't that great? That's a little tiny semi that I could have decorated because I could have reached that one. <laughs> Oh, that's a spectacular oh, fantastic. entry. And I love the creativity of turning it into the yes. Polar Express. That is so clever. Oh, my gosh. And the camera is getting some spectacular views of it. And of all of our entries in the parade, our thanks to everyone who's working on cameras tonight. Oh, and here comes uh, one near and dear to our hearts in our household. This is Circus City 4-H. Believe in the magic, believe in yourself. That's the theme of this entry from Circus City 4-H. They remind us that 4-H encourages self-growth and uplifting encouragement. We were longtime members of Circus City 4-H. Oh, So this wonderful. is a one that we absolutely love kind of miss not helping out with that float this year that we've aged out. <laughs> <laughs> I was in 4-H many, many years ago, and I loved that organization. They're I just wonderful. think it truly is about believing in the yes. magic, believing in yourself. Absolutely. And this is a splendid entry from the Circus City 4-H. Many hours worked on these floats for Circus City 4-H in years past. Oh, what fun, creating memories, you absolutely, know? Absolutely, absolutely. And some of the little 4-H folks are on board there. Oh, They're that's adorable. lovely. They're adorable. It is. Oh, wonderful. This is great. What a great group. This is a great group of people as well. Yes, I can it is. speak to that with uh, all sorts of authority. <laughs> Oh, this is just a grand parade. Here we see some of the back of that float, too, from Circus City 4-H. Here we see coming into view an entry from the Friends of the Baraboo Zoo. This entry focuses on nature's Christmas, specifically owls. Oh. Zoo volunteers and Friends members have been putting this together. They certainly work hard yes. at, in raising funds and volunteering in animal education, keeping animals healthy and happy at Baraboo's Oxner Park Zoo. And they've had a trying year with some of the changes and some of the things that have happened over there, but they have been able to recover and make things uh, even maybe better for the fair go for zoo goers as well as for uh, the animals in their care. Absolutely. Oh, look at how pretty this I entry is. This. And the camera has really been picking that up. You can see that they've got some owls there, some snowy owl puppets and oh that's just lovely oh that's adorable we are so fortunate in this community to have a zoo a free yes. zoo and people enjoy it so very much that's a lovely entry from the friends of the baraboo zoo it's adorable with all the animals very much so very much highlighting who they are and what their mission is too absolutely and the value of of nature in our lives mm -hmm. um, and how we're all connected. Uh, that's just a lovely, lovely entry. Do you have a favorite animal when you visit the Ashner Park Zoo? Uh, we always go right toward the prairie dogs. Oh, us too. They <laughs> just, they make me laugh and I just think they're so much fun. I love all all of the animals at the zoo, but they tend to be a magnet for yes, me. Yes, <laughs> me too. I feel like I'm kind of shaped like some of them too and about as, <laughs> about as graceful as some of the prairie dogs at the Ashner Park Zoo. And I like their expressions. Yes, yes. <laughs> they definitely let you know what's up, don't they? <laughs> right behind the Friends of the Baraboo Zoo is Summit Credit Union. Here are some of the jolly elves from Summit Credit Union. You can see employees and some of their kids who are busy in Santa's workshop tonight in downtown Baraboo. Beautiful. And again, with so many lights and with a Christmas tree on board. Fantastic. Oh, that's lovely. A great entry from Summit Credit Beautiful. Union. And again, the cameras mm -hmm. just doing a wonderful job tonight. Many thanks to all of our camera folks because their talents are greatly appreciated. 
Next we see an entry that is coming in from Wisconsin Dells Cub Scout Pack 79. They are joined by Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, on a camping several outing. Several of them. Oh, my goodness. There are several Rudolphs. You're right. And maybe if we looked at our own red noses right now, we <laughs> might say that we belong on that float, too. Most likely. <laughs> I think everybody down here could say that tonight. Oh, that's so cute. From the Wisconsin Dells Cub Scout Pack 79. We know a few things about red noses around here between Rudolph and our clown <laughs> noses. That's we know right. a few things. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and they and they, the sign on the back said Happy Scout Mess. It just showed that on on camera. That was cute. <laughs> well, this is a beautiful entry that's focusing on a miracle on Fort, on Thirty Fourth Street. That is lovely. That comes from Wisconsin River Title. Absolutely level, lovely. They're inviting us to unwrap the magic of this time of year as mounds of Christmas presents surround this little home. You can see those on the floor on camera. Wisconsin River Title reminds us that their staff has been providing homes with a commitment to exceptional service for over 20 years. That's a lovely entry. It's adorable. And now we see coming on camera an entry from Top Hat. They're celebrating heating homes for over 40 years with this charming float tonight that features a gingerbread house. Top Hat's goal is to make people comfortable, enjoy their home, and be warm and safe using the latest environmentally friendly products, like maybe gingerbread. <laughs> <laughs> that is so darling. Lovely entry from Top Hat. Oh, the gum drops on top. Oh. I like that. Very creative. Very, very creatively done. Got a nutcracker on that one as well. All of the candies and the icing on the gingerbread house. And of course, cute little faces peeking out of those windows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a joy this parade is. I just, I love how people are so creative mm -hmm. and they see so many different ways of interpreting a theme of believing in the magic. Um, what I love about that is it can mean so many different things to everybody, whether it's mm -hmm. Santa or whether it's the meaning behind Christmas. You see that in all of these different entries tonight, how everybody has portrayed it a little bit differently. Absolutely. What creativity. And the, the crowd, despite the fact that it is really a cold it's night. It's really cold. They are mesmerized by this lovely parade. The crowd is huge yes. tonight. It is absolutely huge. I want to thank Corey Hartman and the crew during setup for making sure that we were blocked a little bit from the wind here this evening Why during the actual parade. Yes. Much, much appreciated. It surely is appreciated. Now we see an entry coming into view from Las Milpas Hispanic Store and Restaurant as an authentic fusion of Hispanic communities united in faith and hope. Representatives from Las Milpas Hispanic Store and Restaurant walk in Baraboo following the Star of Bethlehem in search of the newborn Jesus. Las Milpas has been serving the Baraboo community for over 11 years. So let's take a good look at that. They're saying Feliz Navidad and Merry Christmas and you can hear music on this float and you see people who are dancing and they're carrying flags with them with the American flag you see coming into view first. But what a joyful entry. It's very festive. It's so much fun. Also reminding you that we should have fun during the holiday season. Yes. And I love watching the dancers. It's just, that is lovely. Fantastic. It is. Absolutely beautiful. And it's nice to be able to capture a little bit of the, the dancers. Yes. And they all have smiles on their faces. And you can see on the backs of them that they their flag is then represented on the backs yep. of them with a sign that says where that flag is from. I saw Guatemala. I saw Peru. That is just wonderful. Wonderfully done. Beautiful. Beautiful and festive and lovely. 
Las Milpas. They look like they're having a good time. Too. They sure do. <laughs> And I see Ringling House Bed and Breakfast making their way behind Las Milpas. The Ringling House Bed and Breakfast and its owners, Julie Hurley and Stu Stuart Kohler, send holiday greetings to one and all this evening. They've been serving Baraboo and visitors for the past seven years. The majestic yellow mansion housing the B&B is located on 8th Street. It once belonged to two of the world-famous Ringling Brothers of circus fame, Charles, and then later his brother, Henry. And next we see coming into view some of the Jolly Giants. They are stilt walkers. They are back in Baraboo this evening, <laughs> delighting the crowd. Uh, for over 20 years, these fun and festive stilt walkers have been walking tall, bringing joy to parade goers across the United States. And they're followed by Advance America, where we see a banner. And then we see um, another little wagon coming into view, a U-Haul that has their banner on it, and it also has Checkers the dog. Oh, Checkers looks cute. Yeah. Kind of puppy you want to see under your Christmas tree That's on Christmas right. morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, what a fun and festive entry from Advance America. I'm afraid our puppy's going to eat the Christmas tree this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll be another Christmas story, won't it? <laughs> Checkers looks much more well-behaved. Much, much, much. Oh. I hear, oh, I know what I'm hearing. Yeah, I, I do, hear, too. I'm hearing it. 608 <laughs> Axe Throwing following up Advance America. A very merry Axmas <laughs> <laughs> from 608 Axe Throwing. You see their mobile axe throwing trailer wrapped in lights with league members as well as employees riding along. And they are actually throwing the axes tonight. Yeah, now you'll hear it again yep. here as they... <laughs> yeah, you, you hear that sound and you know exactly what that is. They are literally throwing axes on it. their float. I love it. That is clever with all kinds of lights. <laughs> that is delightful. The crowd was daring them to get a bullseye, and right on the mark, they threw a bullseye. <laughs> and then the crowd went wild. <laughs> Oh, and now the camera is showing a perfect view. Oh, got a bullseye. Wow. Both of them did. They oh, are good. Oh, gracious. I know they go to a lot of national tournaments and compete as well. And you can see why. This next entry comes from the Sauk County Historical Society. During our pre-parade show, we were talking with Paul Walter, the executive director there, about their tour of holiday homes taking place on December 3rd. They'll also be having a three-day event of Christmas at the Van Orden Mansion, December 9th through the 11th. And here is their new entry this year. This is wow. gorgeous. A beautiful historic home. And look at that gazebo. Fantastic. Oh, it's like a dollhouse. It is. It's like a dollhouse. Oh my gosh. If I were a little girl right now, oh, I would want so that excited. dollhouse. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a beautiful home ready for the holidays. Oh, is it ever? That is wonderful. Oh, and here we have Cripple Creek Cloggers coming. You could probably hear them before you even see them. They're from Madison, or at least the Madison area. The group began 40 years ago in 1982. They offer clogging, folk dance lessons, and club dances. And they have an exhibition team that performs in shows and parades. As you can hear, each dancer's footwear is used musically by rhythmically striking the heel, the toe, or both against a floor or each other. <laughs> oh, how joyful. They might be the warmest and most talented out here. <laughs> And that was wonderful camera work, getting yes. some of their feet moving. I mean, that is Fantastic. a talent to know how to clog. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that's fun. And next coming into view, we see a gigantic shopping cart from Festival Foods. Their big cart is all decked out for the holidays. It measures a whopping 14 feet tall, wow. 12 feet long, and 8 feet wide. It operates on a 350 Chevrolet engine and Mickey Thompson racing slicks. Oh, what a fun entry. <laughs> oh, that's great. From Festival Foods right here in Baraboo. Oh, and of course, one of our favorites coming down the road now because it means a little heat, Remax <laughs> Grand Hot <laughs> Air Balloon. This is always a crowd pleaser. It warms up these cold, wintry nights with uh, this popular hot air balloon. You can feel the warmth of the flame as it jumps into the sky this evening. And boy, does that definitely feel good <laughs> as we sit here on this I, blustery I night. It's always a favorite entry of mine because by about this point, we've turned into popsicles and uh, just have that little right? bit of heat. <laughs> it feels fantastic. Oh, and that comes to us from Remax Grand here in Baraboo. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. <laughs> and I mentioned earlier that we might, might, might see T.J. Howell. And here we see him with Spongy the Fun Truck. <laughs> That's everybody's favorite little sponge friend. You can see T.J. kind of poking his head out from that. Spongy's popularity has made him one of the most highest rated parade units in Wisconsin. He's visited many cities and towns entertaining families all along the way. Looks like nobody's having more fun than TJ himself inside that truck. You know, and he is just that way. He has such a winning yeah. personality and a winning smile. Oh, that's fun. Baraboo Youth Cheerleading now making their way through the parade. They are a new cheer team for elementary age kids. Their first season, and they're already showing that they have a whole lot of holiday spirit. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> I like their pom-poms. I'd like pom-poms like that. Oh, good for them. That was a cute entry. And next we see coming into view Roy's Classics. This is a beautifully restored 1926 Ahern's Foxfire engine from Roy's Classics, decorated with a theme of Candy Cane Lane. Roy's Classics is a collection of rare and vintage vehicles and other memorabilia. Nash Messman of Roy's Classics is at the wheel. In keeping with their theme, friends are walking with this entry and they are handing out Candy canes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That is a fantastic old truck. It is, and I love the candy cane what theme. What a great theme, of it. yes. Yeah, Agreed. what fun. Oh, that's great. Oh, I hear a famous noise in Baraboo. It's one of the popular ones. It is. <laughs> it's synonymous with Baraboo. Absolutely. This is there Circus is. World's Beck Family Air Calliope Wagon. You can't have a, a Baraboo parade without some circus musical instruments. Absolutely. And here we see Dave Saluda, Circus World's performance and marketing director on board the beautifully carved and painted Beck Family Air Calliope Wagon. And yes, you do say Calliope yes, in the right. circus. This wagon is preserved by Circus World here in Baraboo. Um, but instead of circus music, Dave is playing Christmas music on this Air <laughs> Calliope. And it was that wagon was being pulled by a vintage Caterpillar tractor from Circus World. Coming into view right now, you see Don Larson, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. Everybody from Don Larson, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, getting into this holiday spirit of the season, celebrating Christmas traditions with some cozy time around the fireplace. Sounds like a nice sentiment tonight, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> it does. Might have to try that one myself after that's the right, parade. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Oh, here you get a really great view of this Fantastic. lovely entry. Lovely, lovely. From Don Larson Chevrolet Buick GMC. And there seems to be just a little bit of a lull in the parade, so you get a chance to really focus on that great entry there. And we're hearing some great Christmas mm -hmm. music in the background. Can, can our downtown be more enchanting and merry? I'm not sure it can be, honestly. It is definitely an evening of merry and bright. It is, absolutely. <laughs> and the big guest of 
guest star hasn't even shown up yet. So I know. I, I think it gets even more exciting at that point. So here we hear the Baraboo High School Thunderbird Marching Band under the baton of Griffin James. This 70 member Thunderbird Marching Band is one of three bands at Baraboo High School. The band performs throughout the year at football games and other varsity sporting events, parades and community festivities. Let's take a listen. Parade show. We had an opportunity yes. to hear the director Griffin James and other musicians from the Baraboo School District. Um, what a wonderful, wonderful thing to be able to have this very popular band here in the parade tonight. And I love all of the lights yes. that they have draped on themselves and on their instruments. I feel underdressed just with, with I, these I know. that I have on. I keep <laughs> laughing. It's so cold. Some of them have glow sticks on them, and those are even frozen at this point and no longer glowing. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> you know it's the cold when your glow stick doesn't want to glow. Oh, <laughs> and right. there is that special guest of honor that we were mentioning just a few minutes ago on that circus wagon sponsored by Corner Drug Hometown Pharmacy. Santa is in town. And when you're in Baraboo, Santa has to arrive in circus style. Of course. Of and course. this wagon is called the Bostock and Womwell's Menagerie Band Carriage. Say that fast three times. I'm glad you said it. <laughs> <laughs> and it is actually being pulled by Percher and horses that are owned and driven by Kim Stutter. Um, Santa will be here tonight, will be first getting off of that wagon yes. and lighting the official downtown Baraboo Christmas tree high atop the theater's marquee. Santa will also visit downtown Baraboo every Saturday from 11 to 2 to hear your Christmas wish list. And he will be at the Al Ringling Theater this evening until 8.30 on the stage so that you can ask Santa for all of your wishes. This unit is brought to us this evening by Hometown Pharmacy Corner Drugstore, located right here in downtown Baraboo. And if you watch the pre-parade show, you heard Paige Kramer yes. from Corner Drug telling about their philosophy of su supporting this parade and, and as sponsoring Santa's arrival. I don't know if you noticed, but the horse's hooves are also painted red for the festivities oh. this evening. <laughs> no, I missed that. That's great. That's great. <laughs> and of course, Santa can't get to the top of that Al Ringling marquee without a little help. So you also see the Baraboo Fire Department. You can maybe see the light starting to flash in the background. They are coming up behind him so that they can get ready and mark the official conclusion of the parade. Of course, we're talking about the mighty Ladder One truck that we're going to see here as Santa descends from his circus wagon. And here we see him getting down from the wagon. That's a high tall wagon it is and i love the beautiful lights and evergreen rope on it and there's santa oh <laughs> wow and the thunderbird marching band is here too because they will be playing as santa gets up in the bucket of ladder one and magically lights the christmas tree and of course, that then is the real beginning yes. of the holiday season here in downtown Bear, where we're just seconds away from witnessing it. It's one of the most exciting times with so many incredible shops and so many fun festivities that take place in Baraboo. Santa's weekly visits to Baraboo, his elves are going to be busy once he gets done here. <laughs> Very much so. I know there were a lot of kiddos that were excited about this visit tonight and about his upcoming visits as well getting those lists ready. You can see all that it entails to get Santa up on that marquee. The police car has a Grinch in it as it goes by. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh my we goodness. We just bestowed Thank you. more candy. Thank Holy you. Holy buckets. That's a big pile. <laughs> my know. favorite in there, too, is Snickers. We've, we've, we've gotten a haul here. <laughs> we've gotten a haul. Wow. Nobody ever remembers the radio, ho <laughs> the, the parade host. <laughs> But they did tonight. They How did. very kind. They did. <laughs> 
Well, ladder one is impressive when you see that yes, going, by going by and all of the more, high school evening. musicians there. Oh, this is exciting. They're getting ready to perform and play once again and uh, escort Santo, shall we say, up to that tree. Nothing like having that musical in, uh, Int excitement to An introduction. To, that's right, building all of the excitement for Santa to. Uh, oh, and in this crowd, they are equally as excited about Santa's descent to the top. This is quite the experience. And those of you who are having the opportunity to watch this on television, on Facebook, on YouTube, you are getting a front row seat that many people don't get a chance to see. Right. And the band is getting in formation now so that they can start playing. And now you can see that on camera. And the tree is on top of the Al Ringling Theater marquee. It's all dark right now mm -hmm. because it will be Santa who lights the tree. And only Santa. Right. <laughs> I don't think it would be uh, quite the same if it wasn't Santa. That's right. The marquee, if you're trying to read it, says, Be kind, see Santa after the parade. <laughs> and so this is lovely. I am pretty sure that there is not a site that we have in Baraboo that you can ever get tired of. I this is agree. This is one of those just magical things that we are so lucky to have each and every year. I would agree. What a great tradition. And how wonderful that 99.7 Max FM uh, broadcasts this parade for all of us to enjoy. Fire department. Yes. All the experts. Look at that bucket on ladder one. That's huge. And the crowd is cheering. They're going <laughs> wild. There's su such anticipation in the air right now. Santa's now in the bucket of ladder one. Slowly the light is on his way up. 
And there he goes. There he goes. There is not a person here, young or old, that is not excited right now. <laughs> I agree. I agree. The cheers right now of young kids screaming, hello, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> even some sunglasses in the yes, crowd. Yes, I see that. <laughs> oh, the crowd is loving the music. Merry Christmas, Santa. <laughs> Santa's magic is frozen right now, too. Ah, as we all are, right? Right? <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> of course, it had to have the magic Santa dust yes, that, was, of that course. would sprinkle on it. Glitter and Santa dust always oh. works best, doesn't it? Oh, of course. It works every time. <laughs> works every time. Beautiful. That is lovely. Lovely. What a grand evening this has been, Maddie. Absolutely. I have so enjoyed doing this broadcast with you and... Everything from learning about all kinds of events and activities taking place, hearing wonderful yes. musicians, talking with some of our sponsors, and then seeing this spectacular parade. What a joy this has been. It's been absolutely wonderful and magical. Everything that this time of year should be, especially in downtown Baraboo. And thank you to everybody who came out this evening. Uh, if you were here in person and froze but had a great time and just really trying to kick off the holiday season and all that it entails in, in this wonderful community. Absolutely. And for those of you who have been listening to it on 99.7 Max FM or watching it on TV 43, Cable 10, or watching it on Facebook or YouTube, uh, we're so glad that you could join us this evening for a magical evening. It is not surprising that this year's parade theme would be Believe in the Magic of Christmas, because certainly I felt it this evening. Yeah, absolutely. And how can you not in this wonderful community with all of these people and uh, all of this, uh, fa I mean, fabulousness. That's what we'll say, because from the floats yes. to the people to uh, the musicians, it was just a really great night. And as you're talking about the broadcast, quickly, before we wrap things up, I do want to mention our broadcast sponsors once again. Lead sponsor, Teal Plastics. Special sponsor, WCCU Credit Union. And our community partners, AT&T, Baraboo, Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells, Baraboo State Bank, SSM Health, St. Clair Hospital, Baraboo, McFarland's Retail Center, Sauk City, Bank of Wisconsin Dells and Century 21 affiliated. 
And our thanks also to the Baraboo Pizza Ranch for being this year's parade uh, major sponsor once again, and to all of those at the platinum, silver, and gold levels mm -hmm. who made this parade possible. And all of the volunteers, all of the businesses, the groups that created entries for tonight's parade, and Downtown Baraboo Incorporated that believes in the magic and embraces it each and every day. You can see the crowds lining up to get inside to go see Santa in just the next few minutes. And with that, I think we'll probably conclude because I think we should go see Santa too. Plus, we need to go warm up. <laughs> I think that sounds like a great idea. Again, Maddie, it's been a it's joy. It's been wonderful, it's wonderful. Been Thank you so much, Carrie. Thank you to our amazing crew for being out here all day, freezing and putting on this great production. It is very much appreciated. And thank you to everybody who is watching at home tonight. This is uh, another great holiday season. It's going to be. It's it just is. starting. This is just the beginning of it in Baraboo. Thank you so much and good night. Merry Christmas.